So this is the first of three videos uh, showing something about how to access and use the database Jupyter uh, that is available through the Danish uh, Geological Survey website 3 wgsdk So first thing is to find a web browser, preferably Google Chrome or Firefox because they support a so-called SVG viewer. Entering into the Geos web page, we scroll down a little bit and uh, to the right side here, over to the uh, over here, we can see well, there, Boring uh, and Drake event. Uh, if I click on this link, um, I will open another page. And here we have um, access Elgang to data, which is what I need to click on in order to get to the best uh, direct link to the Jupyter. Um, yeah, to how to access Jupyter. I can access Jupyter uh, in three ways, either via an interactive map uh, or via a search formula uh, where I can punch in the geos, uh, the, the well number, the DGU well number, or I can use uh, Google Earth. In this video, I will show you a little bit about how to use Google Earth. It, of course, requires that you have, uh, that you have downloaded Google Earth and installed that on your computer. Having done that, you can click on this link and uh, a map will open down here. If we click on that, we will see Google Earth launching and uh, it will be with an extra layer uh, that will be shown with some a legend up here to the left where you can see that blue dots will represent uh, water supply borings. There's a number of other borings available and waterworks uh, can be shown as uh, blue triangles or are shown as blue triangles. So now I've just got to zoom in uh, either by scrolling at my mouse or I could use the zoom button here to the right and when I get to a certain level, I have to zoom down to a certain level, uh, all of a sudden the borings will start to pop up as a layer on the on the uh, background. Here I am at the north of Aarhus. I can see zooming in that there is a waterwork here, Trosbjergwerke, and a number of wells in the area. If I move my mouse over the well, there will be a reaction here and I can click on this well and uh, that and here I can choose to um, look at the bore report. So if I click on that link there, I will have some information shown about uh, this particular well. First of all, where is it uh, made? <coughs> Who has uh, established the boring here? Uh, a little bit about the terrain level and uh, other basic information about the boring and uh, to the right side here I can see uh, a picture of where the boring is uh, located. Scrolling down I can see again basic information about the boring. Uh, here is uh, some information about the geology. I can see that there is glacier and moraine till uh, for the top 60 meters and then sand, meltwater sand uh, is uh, about a 10 layer, 10 meter deep layer of that, uh, followed by another layer of milk water sand. So I'll take a look uh, later in uh, video two about the geology. But right now we'll just scroll down and see there's one filter in this boring. Um, groundwater is permitted uh, to be abstracted uh, with 100 cubic meter per hour. Um, and if I go to this link here, I can see the water level uh, shown as a graph. And I can see the water level historically has dropped down and now stabilized at a level around 30 meters uh, above sea level. Scrolling further down, I will see this groundwater chemistry section here. For samples taken from this particular well, uh, this particular filter, uh, from 60 to 95 meters under terrain level and I get a number of samples that I can access. If I click on this sample, for instance, I will get to a uh, information about what has been sampled here. Only three components, namely some pesticides has been sampled and nothing has been found in this water uh, for the pesticides. So uh, far enough, I'll just go back to the right side here and say, well, not really interesting. So 
if I go to the next uh, analysis here from 2017, let's see what that says. And, and in here I've got um, different things. I've got three uh, main parameters, conductivity, uh, temperature and pH. Uh, and I can see the values over here that has been recorded. Um, if I go down a little bit, I can see that there is 20 main chemical constituents so all different substances that has been uh, analyzed for and the resulting values of the analysis can be seen over here so for instance i can see that for ammonia there has been 21 milligram per liter clicking on the substance here left mouse click will give me a graph that shows the historical all the measurements made at this well of ammonia uh, over time so very interesting general view of all the analysis done here and registered in Jupiter, uh, showing that the ammonia level is relatively stable around 0.2 milligram per liter. So that was all for this video. Next video I'll explain a little bit more about the geology and also how to access uh, information uh, in a different way.